Hello, welcome to this video. I am going to react to a song by a young guy playing a guitar. And uh, he is uh, playing his own version. He made a cover of Cashmere by Led Zeppelin. And Led Zeppelin is actually progressive. They are progressive for sure. Not an entirely, you don't like when I think progressive rock, I don't think Led Zeppelin first. For, to me, they're a little bit on the, the fringes, but at the same time, they're, they're behemoths of uh, sort of early rock, blues, metal kind of sound. So, so it's going to be interesting to see what this uh, young fellow, I don't know where he's from. And this was a request, actually. And it's from our Elijah Post. He says, thanks. Please react to Marcin Petra's little, little, little. Now 20 more talented, though. For example, his cover of Kashmir. Millions of views. Okay, well. Marcin. Oh. I thought it was going to be a solo, just acoustic guitar. This is, by the way, probably Led Zeppelin's most progressive single piece of music, I would say. And it's my favorite, too. Oh, that was cool. So far it's really engaging, it's very interesting, he's doing some cool stuff. He looks a little like Neo from Matrix. Oh, wow. I love it when... Oh, it's not done. All right. He is in the Matrix there, it looks like. Really nicely done. I was expecting to be no accompanying um, other music. I thought he was going to be solo, but uh, actually it was probably a good choice. I like... He's covering the snare. You know, like he's tapping his guitar, he's, he's doing partly percussion and partly instrument. And then you had a bass line, which was very minimal. I'm glad they kept it very minimal because he's, his music, his guitar playing is the focus. The additional bass, the low bass sound that went on was, you know, not, in, not intrusive. Yeah, I think he's really good. He was, he's very talented. Uh, he spends a lot of time, obviously, practicing. Jimmy Page, he had his guitar tuned in a special way in order to play this song. You can't just play it on a normal tuning, which you, I, guess, I guess you could. You can always adapt it to a regular standard tuning. People who are doing um, fingerstyle guitar, there's all kinds of alternative tunings. Basically, you just do whatever the hell you want. I did a legend 
and I had all the different tunings I have. And I ended up writing music across about 12, 12 different tunings. And uh, the, un the only unfortunate thing about that is with time, you're going to forget it all. Because when you, record, when you write something in a certain tuning, uh, the fingerings and everything are just very unique. So as a guitarist who's played most of his life with a standard tuning guitar, except for that period of my life, I've forgotten pretty much 90% uh, of all the music I made back then. So um, that is a bit of a detrimental uh, aspect of it. These are flamenco things too, and also classic when he's going. My fingernails are a bit short right now, but. So he did a lot of that, that was really cool. I know there are some people who don't like it when guitarists are tapping their guitar, but again, that goes back to the flamenco guitarists with the nylon strings, and they're doing all their tapping it while they're playing. So make sure you leave a thumbs up, eh? And subscribe if you haven't. Spiraling out, it's Dean. Talk to you all later.